Hey YouTube, Ann B. Stewart here today with a little bit of a different DT haul. This one's on a little more serious side. Um, we live in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is about 250 miles from the Carolina coast, which at this very moment, it is Thursday, September 13th, and it is almost six o'clock. Our Carolina coast is getting battered with the first, um, the I guess the side of hurricane flow is already hitting the coast. So today was our last day to kind of prep for what we are going to be getting, which is heavy rains, heavy winds, possible flooding, definitely going to be losing power. They've actually already talked about cutting the power in the city and um, possibly not having water for a few days. So being a Hurricane Hugo <laughs> um, veteran, I wanted to make sure that I was prepared and I wanted to check on some of the cashiers at my local DT who have become kind of friends um, since I started this channel. So in the spirit of um, community, I did not pick up a lot of things at the DT today. I wanted to make sure that what I didn't need was there for someone who did need it. And I did not work today. Um, the schools in Charlotte are closed to make shelters for those evacuating the coast. So without further ado, let me give you a couple ideas of things that you can pick up in the DT in case of a hurricane. So this I have actually already opened because I wanted to make sure that they were working. I had never seen these before. This is the package and this is what it actually looks like. These are emergency LED candles. They come two in a pack and they take um, two AA batteries each. These are pretty cool. There are 50 hours, yeah, 50 hours of light per candle. So they are a screw bottom and you slide the batteries in and then it's an LED light and then it has this nice little stand so that you could put it somewhere you know and it'll stand up on its own like a votive and then you just twist the bottom to turn the light off so that was really cool I've never seen those in a DT before so I did pick up two packs of those just because it would be nice to have some light in the house that is not an actual burning candle so I picked up two packs, they look like this, and I also picked up two packs of AAA batteries. If you are looking for AAA or AA batteries, the DT is still stocked with batteries. So check those people out first. So what else did I get? It's everywhere. I got some stuff that not really hurricane prep, but I'm not gonna go over that stuff today with you. We will save that for a non-hurricane day. Now, I did pick up some Lysol cleaner. Um, this is the kind that's diluted. This will make five gallons total. And I like the fact that it's kind of smaller. It's not gonna take up a lot of space, but I can put this in my spray bottles and dilute it with water and be able to clean, especially if we do have some flooding. And this is gonna be really good. I need to clean out a bathtub, scrub it down really good. Um, to store extra water in. We've been told to fill a bathtub with water for things like flushing toilets, um, washing, um, probably, you know, if it comes down to it, for the dog to drink, for us to drink, who knows. But so I'm going to use this in a little while to make sure that my bath, my bathtub is totally sanitary. And I'm sorry, this cold is kicking my butt. So I'm like already out of breath. I did pick up some furniture polish, which like, why is what? Why is that part of hurricane readiness? Um, we do have a lot of wood furniture, and I know we've had in the past, especially when we've had snowstorms, and water gets kind of like, you know, brought in on coats and stuff and flung, and then I get water droplets everywhere. So I did just pick up a bottle of this kind of on a whim to spray and condition um, the wood when it gets wet. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love my Jergens hand soap, and I'm actually out of hand soap, and the DT was extremely low on hand soap, which I totally get. People, you know, are, are stocking up to be clean, but I did get this liquid hand soap. I am pretty sure, yep, this is the DT brand, which I have never used before. Um, this is the Fresh Peach Scent, and it is cleanses, moisturizes, and has vitamin E. So we are gonna try it and we will see, maybe we have a new favorite. Who knows? Uh, I don't usually use plastic cutlery, 
but I did buy a pack of plastic cutlery and I did buy a couple packs of these are the foam plates. Um, the paper plates that they have are really small, um, but I did buy a couple packs of foam plates. I am really against using foam in plastic cutlery. It's not great for the environment, but if it comes down to rationing water, I don't want to have to use water to clean my plates. So some plates and some cutlery, that will be easy for us to dispose of if we need to. And on the same vein of losing water, um, I already had a pack of these, but I thought I might need to get another pack since there are three of us. These are the flushable moist travel wipes. And I picked up a pack of these in case we're running short on water. These would be good for freshening up as well. And I do have, um, I hauled in another video, um, I do have some of the antibacterial wipes as well which I'm glad that was one thing that a lot of people had come to the DT for that they were out of. Anything antibacterial was was completely gone off the shelves. Um, and kind of in that vein, just in case, you know, cleaning is, is not something we can do for a few days. I've never had this before, but these are maxi thin. I'm trying to see who they are. They're not a DT brand. I'm assuming they're made by maxi, but these are the feminine cleaning cloths. And I thought, you know, those might be something good. They're compared to Summer's Eve, so that might be something good to have on hand. And maybe not even just for me, who knows? So that's what I got um, kind of prep-wise. We have tons of water. We have been saving our um, two-liter bottles and our gallons from milk and cleaning them out and filling them with water all week. And then we've frozen a bunch of them. And then we have some that are just sitting out on the counter. Plus, we have tons of water bottles. You know, anyway, every time we drink water from a water bottle, we've just been filling it up with tap water and saving it. So water we're good on. Um, we actually <laughs> actually have my father's canoe in the backyard because we do live on a creek um, in a green way. So, you know, just in case we have that. The biggest issue for us is going to be if we lose power because um, Jeffrey, if you've seen him on some videos, is addicted to his computer and addicted to his phone and I'm not sure what we're going to do with him other than reading a few books. So I did pick up a couple things at the DT and they fell on the floor. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so I got this. I've actually looked at this a couple times for some of my kids at school. This is a bracelet making kit. You know, the friendship bracelets. So it comes with a little this little disc, it's a foam disc that has little slits in it and it's color coded and then the string. So it tells them how to actually string the bracelet onto the disc to make different designs. Plus I have a lot of this string in the house. So I thought this might be one and this is made by Creative Kid, which is a green buyer brand. And I thought this was fun. This is a little young for a 12 year old, but the paint posters you know they have the paint on the bottom and you can use a q-tip or you can use the paintbrush and you wet the little um, paint square and then paint and these are all pirates so I thought you know that might entertain for an hour or two and then <laughs> more for me than him but I found this kickback and color by number relax coloring book and that is it's colored by number so it tells you on one page the colors and the number and then <clears throat> the pictures are colored and it also comes with a free download for relaxing music <laughs> probably won't have electricity for that but you know later on it might be good and I have looked at these a couple times and I really wish that I had bought one before now because it looked like everybody was on to my plan of entertaining their children and there were very few left, but I picked up this thousand piece puzzle. I have heard that these puzzles are really good. So I really like this design. You see, all the other designs that were left were kind of girlish. So I'm glad I picked up this one. These are made by Cardinal. Um, that might take us a couple days to do. And then I picked up a couple packs. My family loves these. I have a couple packs of just regular glow sticks. Um, I have seen you can actually put a glow stick into a two gallon jug of water and it will light up um, 
it'll light up a small room. So that's one of the reasons that I got these, but also just kind of to play with. So small haul, kind of short video. Um, everything that I bought today, if we end up not having um, the severity that they think that we're going to have, will be donated to one of the shelters at the high schools in our area. And we are, our thoughts and prayers are definitely with our friends that are on the coast of the Carolinas in the next couple of days. And we will check in soon and let you know how we are doing. So we will see you soon, YouTube. Have a wonderful week and stay safe, Carolinas.